Alright, I know no one's really surprised that Shovel Knight's on this list. And if you are surprised, then hello! Welcome to my channel. All joking aside though, there really is nothing I can say about Shovel Knight that I haven't already said in my full-length analysis of it and my editorial comparing it to Zelda 2. All the same, I cannot overstate how much I love this freaking game. I don't even know what I love most about it. Is it the fact that its Kickstarter campaign was absolutely transparent, completely successful, and earned its credibility through actual hard work and good marketing? Is it the fact that the game itself is a completely solid experience and even if they didn't implement all the stretch goals that they wanted to, the base game alone is already great and has earned a lot of credibility? Or is it the fact that it's basically a side-scrolling action platformer about a blue character that goes through eight stages and acquires power-ups along the way before fighting the final boss? Okay, uh... Um... <clears throat> that one might have been a little... Too much. I mean, I'm just saying, Shovel Knight could be Medieval Mega Man, I mean... All the elements are... Any anyway, anyway. The point is, this is one of those games where all the different parts of it come together into a fantastic whole that creates a wonderful experience, which I'm pretty sure is the same words that I used in the analysis. But it is such a good description for this game. This game is so well put together. Sure, the game does have that 8-bit presentation, and a lot of people do think that that 8-bit presentation carries the game through on nostalgia's sake alone. But the game is completely solid whether the presentation is 8-bit or whether it's completely 3D rendered. The game itself is completely solid. And I think the best part about this is that I didn't think that game was gonna amount to much when I first heard about it. At the time, I was completely hyped about Mighty No. 9, and I thought Shovel Knight was just this, uh, I mean, okay, whatever. There's, here's this game about a blue shovel dude, and I was like, okay, that's nice, whatever, sure. I didn't contribute to the Kickstarter because I didn't think that much of it. And then the game comes out, and it completely blows my mind. And now my stances on Mighty No. 9 and Shovel Knight have pretty much flipped. I think Shovel Knight is the greatest thing in the world, and I don't think Mighty No. 9 is going to amount to that much anymore. But this isn't about Mighty No. 9. This is about Shovel Knight, a game that has completely blown all sorts of expectations. The game itself is fantastic. The Kickstarter campaign for it was fantastic. It is one of the best examples of a successful Kickstarter campaign that delivered on all fronts. And if you haven't played Shovel Knight yet, oh my god, if you haven't played Shovel Knight yet, please pick it up. It is on practically everything with a screen. It's on the PC, it's on the 3DS, the PS3, PS4, Xbox 360, Xbox One. It's on the Wii U now. It has a physical release on the Wii U. I cannot even believe that. It's getting its own freaking amiibo. It's getting free DLC where you can play as Plague Knight. It has so much going for it. It is still going. It, just go out right now. Get it for the Wii U. Get the amiibo. That amiibo looks great. And if you have the Amiibo and the Wii U version, you get to play co-op. In fact, get it to yourself for Christmas. Get any of the games on this list for Christmas. Try any of them out. Have fun with them. That is the entire point of this video series. I wanted to convey what games I've had fun with. Whether they came out now, whether they came out years ago, or whether they... I don't know, whether they're not even that good. The point is, I've been playing them. I've been having fun with them. I've been sharing my opinions on how fun these games are. And based on those opinions, I want you to judge whether those games are worth your time. And if they are, try them out. If they're not, then whatever. I hope you at least enjoyed the video. Because this has been 12 days of good games. And if there is at least one thing I want to convey through these videos, just one thing, is to go out and play some good games this holiday season. Go out and have some fun. Go out and play something fun. Go out and play good games. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. This has been Super Games Buster, and I'll see you guys later.